Looking for an antenna you can use with a 4G or 5G router? In this video, we've reviewed the Waveform Quad Mini, a 4x4 MIMO antenna you can use with 4G and 5G routers to help you get better speeds. We'll show what's involved to get set up with this antenna and run some speed tests with its different configurations, comparing them to using a router without an antenna to see if the Waveform Quad Mini is worth buying. But before we begin, thanks to 3 for sponsoring this video. Their 5G hub router offers a simple, cheap way to get online with 5G download and upload speeds for less than £20 a month at the moment. And they've just launched an outdoor hub that comes with an antenna offering even faster speeds from our testing. So make sure to click the link in the description to the 3 home broadband coverage checker to see if you can get their 5G hub deals or 5G outdoor hub at your address. Also in the description, we've linked to the full Waveform Quad Mini we bought on Amazon so you can see what it costs when you're watching this. So when you buy this antenna, what do you get in the box? You actually get a lot of different things for different ways of mounting the antenna, so let's go through them. And it's also important to note before we go through that, we bought this full kit, which is what we link to in the description, not the antenna only bundle, which is cheaper, but is missing a few things. So the first thing you see when you open the main box is this 10 foot ultra flex cable, as Waveform calls it. This is to carry signal from the antenna and is designed to be used outdoors, but it's actually only an extension cable, and we didn't end up needing to use it. Next, there are some SMA to pigtail adapters, because all of the cables waveform supplies use SMA, but most 4G and 5G routers do as well, in the UK at least, from our experience, so we didn't end up needing to use these either. Next, you've got your quad mini manual, and this is the window entry cable. The flat part can be shut in a window, allowing you to feed the antenna's signal inside to your router without letting any air in, and without disrupting data transmission. There's also some double-sided tape, allowing you to secure both ends of this. And you can also open each of these little boxes and reorient where the cables are coming from, if needed, to help with your installation. There are some screws and screw anchors for wall mounting the antenna, if you want to. And there are also some male to female SMA adapters, if you need them. Now, you can open the box with the antenna itself. It's a decent size and comes with a decent length of cable on it as well which is completely weatherproof, but it's not too heavy, which is nice. This is the desktop stand, in case you want to mount the antenna inside, on a windowsill or something like that, and this is the pole mount bracket, with zip ties on it, in case you want to mount the antenna, on a flagpole or something like that. Unfortunately, we don't think the grooves are quite wide enough to use on a drain pipe, so whatever pole you use, would have to be a pretty small diameter. Then finally, there are some spare zip ties, screw anchors and screws, a piece of velcro for cable management, and four suction cups for mounting the antenna on a window. Also in here are some thumb screws, which allow you to attach the antenna to the desktop stand. So to test out the antenna, we'll be using the GLINET GLX3000 because we happen to have one lying around, and it supports 4x4 MIMO. To begin with, with this router on 3, we normally get a download speed of about 300 megabits or so, sometimes dropping to 250 with all of its rabbit ear antennas installed. And our upload speeds are normally about 8 to 12 megabits per second, with a latency of about 40 milliseconds. So first, let's test the baseline performance of the router compared to putting the antenna in its stand and keeping it indoors. And note that this is meant to be a temporary installation option. To get the best results, you really need to put the antenna outside, but we wanted to see how much of an improvement this made. The first step is to figure out where in your house has the best 5G signal. With other 5G antennas, like the one that 3 includes with the 3 5G Outdoor Hub, they have a signal gauge, allowing you to basically walk around and see where you get the strongest 5G signal. But unfortunately, the Waveform Quad Mini doesn't have a signal gauge, or really any other way of telling how good your 5G signal will be in any given spot. So there's a few different ways to figure this out. The first, and probably the easiest, is to walk around and do different speed tests on your phone, ideally on the second story of your house if you have one, and towards the edge, like near windows, and see where you get the best 5G speeds. The other way is to get your 5G router and test its speed in different locations to see where it's picking up the best 5G. This is harder, because you have to keep unplugging the router 
When you move from room to room, and you also need to do this, to reset the network bands it's connected to in each location, but this method is more accurate than using your phone. So once you've figured out where you get the strongest 5G signal, grab the antenna and the desktop stand, then position the antenna over the screw holes and screw it into place using the provided thumb screws. You can just hand tighten them. You don't need to actually screw them in. Next, you wanna look up your router guide on the waveform website and scroll down to the diagram where they label each of the antenna ports on the router. So for us with this router, the number one labeled cable goes into the first antenna port on the right. The number two cable goes into the fourth port on the opposite side. The MIMO one cable goes into this port on the back right. And the fourth cable goes into this port on the back left. Make sure to plug everything in according to the diagram to make sure you get the best performance from the antenna. It's also at this point where you might need to use some of the cable adapters included in the box if your router doesn't use SMA ports. We will say the cable coming out of the waveform is a bit unwieldy. It's really stiff, which made this indoor installation quite a bit more tricky, but we guess they need to make it like that so it can withstand rain, snow, sun, and that sort of thing. So once we'd unscrewed the old antennas, plug the new ones in and put the antenna on its stand somewhere with good 5G signal, all we had to do was turn on the router. There's no other setup or configuration necessary. So remember, with just the bunny ear antennas installed on this router, we normally get a download speed of about 250 to 350 megabits per second. With the waveform on its stand, in the same place where the router was before, we didn't really notice a difference with our download and upload speeds, and our latency stayed about the same as well. So let's try and install the antenna outside to see if we can get faster speeds. To mount the antenna outside, we chose to use the window mounting method because this was most convenient for us. We didn't have a pole to install it on, and getting high up enough to screw it into the wall was going to be challenging. We found the window installation was really easy. The suction cups have screws on the back of them, so all you need to do is take the antenna, turn it over, and screw the suction cups into the back. Then clean your window to remove any dust or debris, and push the antenna onto it. Then connect the antenna to the window entry cable by screwing in the SMA connectors, making sure you've got the numbers matched up. The thin bit in between the two boxes can then sit on your window frame and you can close the window completely. The window was still able to fully seal with no draft or cold air coming in and no issues with the cable at all. You can also use the 10 foot cable before the window entry cable if you need more distance. Then it's just a case of screwing the other end of the window entry cable into the router, once again making sure that all the cables are going to the right place. Using the window entry cable, you can make your installation a bit nicer looking than this, but we just wanted to get it done quickly so we could test the antenna. And once again, once the antenna is plugged in, all you need to do is turn on the router and you're ready to get online. But if you've kept your router on the whole time, make sure to turn it off and on again so it can resync with 5G and connect to better network bands using the antenna it now has. With the Waveform Quad Mini installed outside, we saw a significant increase in our download and upload speeds. A download speed of about 500 megabits was typical, compared to the 250, 300 or 350 before, and our upload speeds nearly doubled to 20 megabits per second or so. Our latency dropped by about 5 to 8 milliseconds, and on our best tests, our download speed reached more than 600 Mbps. With the 3 5G Outdoor Hub, which comes with a cleaner cable setup in our opinion, especially if you're installing it on a window, near to where it's coming inside, our latency was similar, our download speeds were a bit lower, although not by much on average, but our upload speeds were quite a lot higher. So when installed outside, the Waveform Quad Mini performs really well, especially when it comes to download speeds. This is easily the fastest speed test result we've gotten on the 3 network at this address in the last year or so. So click the link in the description to the Waveform Quad Mini kit on Amazon to see what it costs at the moment, and also Click the other link in the description to 3 Home Broadband, our video sponsor, and put in your postcode on their coverage checker to see if you can get their 5G outdoor hub, which includes an antenna, a router, and an unlimited data sim for just £21 a month at the moment. The Waveform Quad Mini is not cheap, but for us, it's still definitely worth considering. It's easy to set up, especially if you choose to mount it on a window, 
and at just about double the download speeds we were getting with the GLiner GLX3000 on the 3 network. The upload speeds could be a bit better, but they were still improved, and for most people, your download speeds are a lot more important. So click the link in the description to the Waveform Quad Mini on Amazon to see what price they're offering on it at the moment. And if you have any questions about our experience with this antenna, leave us a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.